Welcome to Emmett's Place, number 91. How sweet it is. Uh, we have two of, of the masters of our music in the house today, and uh, couldn't be more thrilled to introduce you from, to introduce you to, from Hartford, Connecticut, Stamford, Hartford. He gets around Connecticut. The one and only Mr. Stevie D, Steve Davis on the trombone. And on the trumpet, originally from New York City, but uh, spent formative years in San Francisco. And I learned today just, just uh, that you went to high school with Mary Stallings, who has been in this house singing with us. Crazy. Uh, but uh, Mr. Henderson, Dr. H Eddie Henderson's been a hero of ours uh, for, for the longest time, and it's an honor to play music with you for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Dr. Eddie Henderson. From Milburn, New Jersey, on the drums, the one and only Mr. Evan Sherman. And on the bass, Kingston, Jamaica's own Russell Alexander Hall. Yes, so that was a piece um, composed by Woody Shaw, and um, I think originally recorded with Jackie McLean uh, right back in the late 60s called Sweet Love of Mine, and Woody did that one for years, and I believe, uh, Dr. Reddy, you, you showed us that tune. Uh, well, I, I actually remember Woody Shaw when he was living out in Stanford. Um, you know, I, I actually, I met Woody Shaw way back when I was in school in 1964, he had just returned from Europe playing with uh, Eric Dolphy, and he and I, and I became immediate friends. And actually, uh, I think he had already written the tune, but not recorded it yet, and he showed it to me way back in, in the mid-60s. Uh, he was a wonderful player, uh, to say the least. <laughs> Beautiful, and then the, the, the first piece we did was um, from Oklahoma, uh, the, the Surrey with the fringe on top. And um, that's another one that, that you've played for years, oh, Eddie. Yeah, and that caught my musical fancy way back in the mid 1950s. <laughs> <laughs> that caught my musical fancy way back in the mid 1950s. There was a, a Broadway show entitled Oklahoma. And my parents took me to see that. I was still in high school. And then in the late 50s, ironically, Miles Davis uh, uh, came to San Francisco to do an engagement at the Blackhawk. And my stepfather was his doctor at that particular time. And Miles Davis stayed at uh, my parents' house for those two weeks. And the first time I heard Miles Davis play this in person, I said, boy, the lights went on just like this. I said, there it is. <laughs> and so I, play, I learned it from the record by ear. And Miles came home one day, and I, and I put on the record, and I played it you know, for him. And his raspy voice, he said, you sound good, but that's me. <laughs> I said, whoops, back to the drawing board. <laughs> what did he say about, about scotch taping? Oh, oh yeah. You know, so when I would go see Miles Davis, uh, you know, he'd close his eye. I didn't know anything about harmony. I could play, you know, w with the record by ear. And I was, you know, I was studying at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music at that particular time. I could read music but I didn't know how to improvise. And so I asked Miles Davis, I said, well, you, how do you play? So he looked at me, you know, his big, beautiful eyes <coughs> and his raspy voice. He, he said, learn as many licks as you can and then scotch tape them together. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Um, yeah, yeah. That's about it, right? That's about it. Uh, J Mac, Jackie McLean, uh, used to call it the language. Same thing, just, you know, and, and you eventually, if you start out with uh, what he would call baby talk, goo goo, right. goo, -goo da da, mama, you know, and then you graduate and then you, you learn to put words and sentences and paragraphs together and maybe one day become a novelist, you know. Uh, 
Um, but the the arrangement we did, uh, Emmett, was by Larry Willis, the great late great uh, pianist and composer and band leader and just an incredible human being who we all love, uh, Larry Willis. So we uh, we did that one many times, and I'm so happy that we played it here with you all tonight, man. It was very very, very special. Thank you. Um, and 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 I know Larry's smiling for for many reasons that you know musically he heard us play that he's smiling about the Celtics too because they're <laughs> going to the Eastern Conference championship and uh, Larry and I both are lifelong Seas fans so I've been thinking about him a lot today and just picturing what he would have to say about it all and it, it would be delightful um, I used to think I was a sports kind of scholar. I met my match, man, when I met Larry. I mean, he's a walking encyclopedia. I see you have a Jackie Robinson book on your mantle and a ball glove and a baseball. Me too. And, oh, yeah, that's that's how Larry and I really went from playing gigs together to be, becoming very, very close friends as baseball and, uh, you know, and, and, and basketball and all of that. So, okay, what's what's next?
me it's not just a job, it's an adventure. <laughs> it should be for jazz musicians. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Steve Davis on the trombone, Stevie D. Dr. Eddie Henderson on the trumpet. That's Evan Sherman on the drums, Russell Hall on the bass. We'd like to, uh, we'd like to thank Mr. Stephen Lukes for sponsoring this evening. Stephen, we really appreciate it. You've done a, a couple now, and uh, it helps us this, this, this operation run, so we appreciate that. And uh, we'd like to thank our sponsor drink here, the CBD Infused Bimble. Uh, CBD drink. No, no, <laughs> Russell. Oh yeah, we need a bimble jingle. Uh, we're going to play a Duke Pearson composition now, featuring the great Eddie Henderson. It says, uh, you know I care.
<laughs> Dr. Eddie Henderson, wow. Wow, you know, <clears throat> I really enjoyed that composition. The first time I ever heard it was on Joe Henderson's uh, um, album, way back in, I believe, in the 70s, Inner Urge. And Joe and I were very good friends. He, actually, he lived in San Francisco for quite a while. And I used to go over his house and just watch him practice, watch him move. And uh, he, he was grandmaster. So what a scientist, what a, a gift from God, you know. Uh, so and and Duke Pearson's composition was also a gift of God. You know I care. <laughs> I'm into all of that.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank <laughs> you. 
We'd like to feature Stevie D on a beautiful ballad called Lover Man.
great Stevie D, Steve Davis. One more time, Evan Sherman at the drums. Russell Hall on the bass. Legendary Eddie Henderson on the trumpet. A big thank you to, uh, to Stephen Lukes for sponsoring this evening. We thank you very much, Stephen. And uh, we want to thank Kelvin Grant on the sound, yeah. Philadelphia's own. <laughs> Drives up each week from Philly, originally from DC. Kelvin, Kelvin, everyone knows you. Ran into some people who knew you in, the, in, in Cape May. Kelvin's renowned now. Um, the wonderful Alex Whites on video design. Yeah. Also a wonderful saxophone player. His record's coming out soon, I played on it. So look out for that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we thank you.